hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to cro crochet this simple uh, crown baby beanie it is very simple it's very easy uh, i made two of them one of them on this one i have added some beads here and this one i have made totally simple i did not add any i did not add any beads or anything like that so the yarn i used is this one it's gonka yarn by ice yarns and into the 100 grams of the yarn there is i'll try to focus if i can and into the 100 grams of the yarn there is 300 meters of the yarn and the crochet hook I used is four millimeter. I used four millimeter crochet hook and I used this yarn. Now I will measure the length and the width of the beanie and which is that it's almost 6.5 inches is the width of the beanie and the length of the beanie is almost 5.5 inches and this one this size is suitable for zero to three months old baby and i will show you how does it look when it's like that this is how it looks and i will show the other one also <clears throat> here and it looks like something like this from the top and these are the stripes i try to imitate the crown and this is it there is no like uh, complicated pattern or anything like that uh, these beads are as i said optional if you have you can use them if you don't have you don't you can just skip that part so this is it so let's get started so the starting point of the beanie is the top of the beanie here this is the first round of the beanie this is where we are going to start our beanie and for that we are going to make for that we are going to make chain four to form a ring so one two three and four and then we are going to slip stitch into the first chain like that and then we are going to make chain two and the, there is one thing i wanted to tell that is that chain two is not counted as our first half double crochet so i'm going to make eight half double crochet into this uh, ring this one so i'm going to grab the yarn uh, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and in insert into that ring and i have three loops on my crochet hook and i'm gonna grab and pull the yarn through all of these three loops and then this is our first half double crochet made i'm going to make seven more half double crochets into the same ring three four five six seven and eight one two three four five six seven and eight not what i'm going now what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip the starting chain two and i'm going to slip stitch on the top of first half double crochet like that so our first round is completed now i'm going to chain two and again the chain two does not count as our uh, half double crochet 
this is the stitch where we have slip stitch we are going to make two half double crochet into that stitch one and two two half double crochet this is our next half double crochet this one and I'm going to make two half double crochets on the top of that half double crochet and this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end and that is that I'm going to make two half double crochet in all half double crochets so I'm at the end of this round I have made two half double crochets in all the half double crochets in the first round we had eight uh, half double crochets in at the end of this round we are going to end up with 16 half uh, 16 half double crochets and now I'm going to slip stitch I'm gonna skip this starting chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch on the top of first half double crochet like that uh, and now I'm going to start round number three for that uh, what I'm going to do is I made chain two and make one half double crochet into the first half double crochet and then in we are going to do one increasing and that is that we are going to make two half double crochets into the next half double crochet then I'm going to make a one half double crochet into the next and two half double crochet into the next and this is the pattern I'm going to repeat all the way to the end and that is that I'm going to make one half double crochet into the next half double crochet and two half double crochets into the next half double crochet all the way to the end i'm at the end of this round and in last round we had uh, 16 half double crochet at the end of this round we should end up with 24 half double crochet because we did increasing in every second stitch I'm going to skip this chain two and I'm going to slip stitch on the top of first half double crochet then chain two make one half double crochet into the same stitch we made chain two on and one half double crochet into the next half double crochet and two half double crochets into the next half double crochet one and two then one half double crochet into the next one half double crochet into the next and two half double crochets into the next we are going to repeat this pattern which is that we are going to make increasing every third stitch so make one half double crochet in next two stitches in this and this and into the third one you are going to make two half double crochets all the way to the end i'm at the end of this round and at the end of this round we should end up with 32 half double crochets then I'm going to skip this chain two space and on the top of the first half double crochet of the last round I'm going to do a slip stitch then I'm going to make chain two make one half double crochet into the same stitch one half double crochet into the next two stitches and two half double crochet into the next then this is the pattern we are going to repeat and that is that we are going to make one half double crochet into the next three half double crochet and then two half double crochets into the next make one half double crochet into one two and three half double crochets and then two half double crochets into the next one and two we are going to make increasing every fourth uh, double crochet uh, sorry half double crochet so this is the pattern we are going to repeat make one double half double crochet in three stitches and then two half double crochets into the next all the way to the end I'm at the end of this round and at the end of this round you should end up with uh, 40 uh, half double crochets I'm gonna skip first chain two and slip stitch on the top of first half double crochet the next round is going to be the last increasing round for for the beanie for the size I'm going to make 
so chain two and make one half double crochet into the first half double crochet one half double crochet into the next three and two half double crochets into the next one and two so this is the pattern we are going to repeat and that is make one half double crochets one half double crochet into next four half double crochets one two three and four and into the next we are going to make two half double crochets one and two and this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we are going to make one half double crochet into four half double crochet and then and we are going to do an increase which is that we are going to make two half double crochets into the next repeat that pattern all the way to the end i have repeated the pattern all the way to the end and at the end of this round you should end up with 48 half double crochets now i am going to stop the increasing rounds because i got, i think i got the I'm going to get the width uh, for the beanie I want to if you want to make it bigger or wider so what you are going to do is you are going to make uh, one extra half double crochet into the second increasing half double crochet this is the first one two three four we made four half double crochet and then we made two half double crochets into the next so you are going to make one double crochets in all the double crochets and two double crochets into the second increasing half double crochet so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet chain two and here i just want to show that how wide our beanie is right now in inches it's uh, approximately four inches and in centimeters it's almost 10 centimeters so i'm going to do what i'm going to do is from now on there is just a plain simple pattern which i'm going to repeat for next couple of or maybe 10 or 10 rounds i don't know i will see when i reach when i will achieve my desired length of the beanie i will stop making these rounds but right now i'm going to do what i'm going to do is I'm, i made chain two and i made one half double crochet into the same stitch and one half double crochet in all of the half double crochets that's it you are going to make one half double crochets in all of the half double crochets all the way to the end so I have reached at the end of this round what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip chain 2 and I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet and I'm going to repeat last round which I just made which is that you are going to make one half double crochet in each half double crochet until I reach here here or until I reach the length of the beanie i want minus almost one inch so when i need one more inch of the length of the beanie then i will stop uh, then i will stop i will do the same uh, pattern i will repeat the same pattern but i will change the color so i will repeat last round until i reach uh, the desired length i want so I have completed all of the half double crochet rounds and, and the, it, at the end of these rounds the length of my beanie is 4.4 and half uh, inches or between 11 and 12 centimeters. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut my yarn.
and change the color I'm going to attach the gray yarn now you can attach it anywhere into any stitch just attach the yarn make chain one and make one single crochet into the same stitch where we, you have just joined the yarn and one single crochet into each half double crochet so simply make one single crochet into all the half double crochets all the way to the end I'm at the end of this round and now I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet now if you can it's better that you place a stitch marker into any stitch of the round we just made just place a stitch marker you don't have to do it it's just that you don't get confused when we will start working this round this round this is going to be that we are going to work on the top of the these single crochets we are going to rejoin the yarn so now what we are going to do is right now we are going to make i made chain one and then i am going to make one single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet into all the single crochets i'm going to repeat it until i get the length of the beanie i want i'm going to repeat single round of single crochets that i'm going to make one single crochet in all single crochets and then i'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first a single crochet and this is the pattern I'm going to repeat until I get the length of the beanie so I repeated the rounds of single crochets for total five times now we are going to do a little bit different uh, pattern it's the same pattern but we are going to do some changes in that and for that you are going to what you are going to do is you are going to make chain one and instead of working anti-clockwise we are going to make clockwise which is called reverse uh, single crochet so i have made chain one what i'm going to do that instead of going that way we are going to going that way and make one single crochet in each round each uh, what you call it um, stitch this is our next stitch we are going to insert our hook under the both loops of the next stitch this way grab the yarn there are two loops on your crochet hook you are going to pull through both loops and this is our next uh, stitch and i'm going to do the same that i'm going to insert my crochet hook beneath these two loops like this grab yarn and make one more si reverse single crochet i'm going to repeat this uh, pattern all the way to the end i'm going to make what you uh, it's called uh, reverse single crochet i'm at the end of this round i'm going to turn it around and then i'm going to slip stitch under it's a bit hard but I'll try to slip stitch into these loops and then I cut the yarn pull it snug tight and your beanie is almost ready we just need to add the crown we are going to make the rounds where we are going to make the crown on the beanie right now now if you can remember we placed a stitch marker here and i said that we are going to make uh, our crown in we are going to start making our crown into this uh, uh, what you call it round so what you are going what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert my crochet hook under the both loops of that round under the both loops of single crochet 
of the, the that round this is the top of the first uh, round of the single crochets this is the top of that uh, single crochet so i am going to insert my crochet hook under both loops i am going to grab my yarn chain one and make one single crochet so I am going to make one single crochet on the top of that under the both loop of the top of that single crochet I'm going to make one single crochet then I'm going to skip two stitches this one this uh, single crochet and this single crochet and this is the next uh, top of the single crochet I'm going to skip this one and this one and into the third on the top of third uh, single crochet I'll, I'm going to insert my hook beneath both loops and I'm going to make five, uh, three uh, double crochets one two and three double crochets and two more double crochets five double crochets in total into the same single crochet now I'm going to skip two single crochets I'm going to skip this one and this one and into the next which is this one I'm going to make a single crochet then I'm going to skip next two single crochets this is our this is where I made my single crochet here this is our next single crochet and this is our single crochet after that I'm going to skip these two single crochets and I'm going to make I'm going to, to skip this one and this one and into the next single crochet you are gonna like fold it like this skip two single crochets and into the third single crochet by folding is it like i have folded and make five double crochets one two three four and five and then i'm going to skip two single crochets i'm gonna skip this one and this one and into the third i'm going to make one single crochet like that just remember that you have to start working upwards so that's why the side right side of the double crochets should be facing your uh, facing towards you and we are going to make all of these uh, stitches into the same round uh, it's hard to explain actually but I'll try that this is these are the loops these are the these are not loops these are the tiny holes gaps where we made our single crochets we are going to make all of our stitches into those um, gaps or holes or whatever you call it just make sure that you don't work one uh, round up or one round down I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to explain that make all of the stitches into the same round so repeat this pattern I will do it once more and then I will do rest of the stitches off camera skip this single crochet and this single crochet and into the third single crochet make five double crochets one two three <coughs> four 
and 5. It's better that you keep it folded so that it's easy to see then uh, where you are going to make your next uh, stitch. Skip next two single crochet and then make one single crochet under the both loops of next single crochet. <clears throat> so this is the pattern you are going to repeat all the way to the end that make five double crochets into one um, single crochet, skip two single crochets, make one a single crochet into the next then skip two single crochet and make five double crochets into the next repeat it all the way to the end <clears throat> I'm at the end of this round and I'm going to slip stitch into the starting into the first uh, on the on the top of our first single crochet and then I'm going to chain one and make one single crochet make one single crochet into the same stitch into the same single crochet now we have reached the set of five uh, double crochets i am going to make a one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three one double crochet into first three double crochets then chain two one and two make one double crochet into the same double crochet where we made our last uh, double crochet and one double crochet into next two two double crochets one and two then one single crochet into next single crochet and one double crochet into next three double uh, sorry one double crochet into next three double crochets one two three chain two make one double crochet into the same double crochet where we have already made one double crochet and one double crochet into next two double crochets one, two and three now make one single crochet into next single crochet and this is the pattern you are going to repeat that you are going to make one double crochet into the first three double crochet of these uh, five double crochets make one double crochet into first second and third double crochet then make chain two make one double crochet again into the central uh, double crochet and one double crochet into next two double crochets and then then make one single crochet into this single crochet all the way to the end so I'm at the end of this round and I'm going to slip stitch into the starting single crochet and then I'm going to chain one chain one and then I'm going to skip this single crochet and I'm going to work direct on the sets of these uh, these double crochets so I'm going to make one single crochet on the top of these three double crochets one two three and then I'm going to make one did I say double crochet uh, I don't know if I say double crochet but you are going to make one single crochet on the top of these three double crochets and one single crochet into chain two space and now make chain 15 15 chains loosely uh, don't make chains uh, too tight 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 after making chain 15 Pull this 
chain 15 right up it has to be what you call it parallel it has to be go straight up place it like that go all the way up and look for the first this is our first round this is our ring where I where we placed our uh, half double crochets go all the way up and join or slip stitch this what I call it code between if you go all the way up so this is the space you are going to slip stitch between two half double crochets like this you are going to slip stitch into this ring you are not going to uh, place any stitch on the top of any stitch or anything like that you are going to slip stitch into this loop between any set of two uh, half double crochet but it has to be parallel it has to be straight up this code should be straight up and then slip stitch between these two half double crochets like that and then turn your beanie clockwise and then make one single crochet into all chains I'm going to make one single crochet into the first chain like this and one single crochet into all of chain you will end up with 15 single crochets because we made uh, sorry yeah 15 single crochets because because we made 15 chains we made 15 chains so we are going to end up with 15 single crochets all the way to the end of this code or whatever you will call it And this is our last chain like that and then make one single crochet into the same chain two space one single crochet into the next three double crochets this is our single crochet between these um, three double crochets and th three double crochets on this side and three double crochets into on this side this is our single crochet from the last round we are going to slip stitch into that single crochet and then I am going to repeat the pattern I am going to make one single crochet into next three double crochets one two and three and then one single crochet into chain two space and then I'm going to make chain 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and then I'm going to now it's gonna be very easy because we are going to it's very easy now on the top here we are just going to this is where we made our uh, where this is where we joined last time this is where we did a slip stitch last time on the top of this code or whatever you call it now we are going to skip next half double crochet this one and then we are going to place or we are going to slip stitch between the next half double crochet and the double crochet after that the space between this half double crochet and this half double crochet we are going to slip stitch hopefully you guys can see it clearly this is the half double crochet and this is where we slip stitched last time we are going to skip this half double crochet and we are going to slip stitch between next half double crochet and this double crochet so slip stitch and then make simply one single crochet into all single crochets simple as that 
and we are going to end up with 15 single crochets on this cord because we made 15 chains like this just simple plain single crochets into all chains like that and then into this chain 2 space make one single crochet into the same chain 2 space where we started our this uh, what you call it cord or whatever and then make one single crochet into next three double crochets one two and three and then slip stitch into this is our uh, single crochet from the last round we are going sorry this is our single crochet from the last round so we are going to slip stitch into that and this is the pattern you are going to repeat all the way to the end maybe you can't see it clearly so i thought maybe if i zoom it out a little bit you guys can see it a little bit clear that this is what it is this is how it looks right now looks like right now and when we are going to repeat all of our these codes or whatever you call it all of these um, double crochets is going to face upwards and uh, this will create this uh, what you call it this texture of like a real crown or imitating a crown so this is what it's creating right now so i'm going to repeat rest of the uh, uh, what you call it these corners these spaces rest of these patterns offline uh, sorry off camera and then i'll re resume my video again so i'm at the end of this round and i'm going to slip stitch into the starting chain and then I'm going to cut the yarn and pull it snugged out. So my beanies are uh, finished. The only thing I did off camera was that I had these uh, small beads which I have sewed on these uh, stripes. Uh, these are optional if you have you can sew them if you don't have it's okay you can skip that but it's better if you have like oval shaped flat back uh, beads or anything like that if you have you can attach here three of them here but I did not have that and I did not have uh, any other option the only thing I had was these small beads or I have these um, uh, bigger beads but I don't want to attach it on the on my beanie it will look good but uh, maybe it's not comfortable for the baby but if you have flat back beads <clears throat> especially in oval shape it's good it's best and then you can just attach them here here or anywhere you like so this is it that's it our beanie is ready and uh, that's it hopefully that you guys uh, liked my video it was easy to understand and once again i would say that english is not my language but still i'm trying my best so hopefully it was easy to learn even in my english even in my accent so this is it uh, if you like my video please uh, like and share and subscribe to my channel